My name's Helen and this is my channel Helen Mary Jo. If you're new here then welcome and if you're returning then thanks again. You know how much I appreciate it. So today I've um, taken a little break from the fashion haul although I will be doing one at the end of this week so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Um, and today I've got um, a homewares haul and the bulk of the goods are from Matalan. Um, before I get into that, I want to show you this um, gifted, beautiful rose display. So these are real roses that have been preserved and they apparently they last for a year in this condition. I would imagine after that time they they start to deteriorate. I mean, I'm not really clear of how they do it, but um, I thought they're quite smart. Um, they sit, I've got them sitting on my hall table at the moment and today I've just moved them to my black granite worktop which looks rather nice. I chose these ones because I liked the, the dome um, and the size of the container. I guess it's about eight inches across. The thing I don't like about it, and I'm sorry forever, Rose Forever, is this. So um, I think what I will do, if I'm honest, once I've shown you guys this, I will either put a big ribbon around here and tie it into a bow, and I'll probably put some black, uh, black, black vinyl over this from my Cricut machine to to get rid of the name because I, I don't it's all it's fine if it's up against the wall in it on a unit or something but I don't want this kind of you know on on there basically but uh, I think it's rather beautiful actually these are perfect cream ivory roses they do them in all sorts of colors and um, I'll give you a discount code it gives you $25 off and I know most of you most of my viewers are in the UK but they have a lot of discounts on there. I'll put the link on my um, page on, on the description box below. And um, yeah, it can't. Yeah, I mean, you can see. I, d I don't really like fake flowers as such, uh, silk flowers. And I've got some in my living room. But uh, as I explained when I did the tour of the living room, that's because I didn't want people seeing in that are staying in the Airbnb as they come through. It just gives me a little bit of privacy because it's just a open, you know, clear window with, with no um, blinds or anything on it, apart from in the evening we pull the blind. So, yeah, that's my Rose Forever uh, display. I hope you like it. As I say, I'll be putting the description, I'll be putting the uh, link in the description box and the discount code too, and they update their collections all the time. So if there's nothing on there that you like, in the first place hopefully something will happen along that you do like so as i say at the moment it was in the hall and now i put it on the granite worktop and i'll take a photograph of that at the end and like i say i'll probably put, put a big kind of satin bow on uh, quite i've got loads of ribbons and things so that's my rose forever gifted display there's a lot of roses in there Anyway, that's enough about that. So hope you like it. I do. And then the rest of today, um, today's haul is um, Matalan. I had to look on the Matalan website and I have to tell you, if you haven't looked there in some time, do have a look. I was so impressed with their collection. They have got some really, well, they look really high end and uh, dupes for, for lots of other stores. So I'm just going to run through. I haven't actually got them out of the box yet, so we are literally unwrapping this at the same time. Um, I will just get the order up so that I can see. So the first thing I bought are these China coasters, ceramic coasters. And um, what I like to do at Christmas is whoever we've got coming for, lunch on Christmas Day, I get them, well, I, I've done it a couple of times now, actually, is a coaster with their initial on, and that's their place setting on Christmas Day, and then that's a little gift for them to take home. So these were um, 
Well, that's interesting, isn't it? Because it says three pounds on there, and it says three pound fifty on the website. So that's a weird one. I'll query that. I did get twenty percent off, so um, even at three fifty, I would have got them for what two eighty. It's weird, though, isn't it? That's what happened with those boots. You know those chunky boots, which apparently, ladies, are a Bottega uh, dupe. I wouldn't know that if it hit me on the head, but I just happened to see it on Instagram. Uh, apparently, they're really sought after. I still haven't decided. Loads of people said yes. Loads of people said no. Um, there's mine. H for Helen and B. I've got, I think I've got 11 people for, some, uh, for Christmas lunch. But it's a Sunday, isn't it, this year? But it could be Hattie and Billy. So um, they're all different colours. Those two happen to be blue and grey but they come in all different colours. I think they're rather nice. I mean, they're a bit, they need a bit of a polish, but they're kind of, this is, it's kind of matte, the initial, and this is, is uh, ceramic, wipe clean only. They've got nice little pads on, so they won't scratch anything. But I will query that price, £3 on here and £3.50 on the website. I didn't finish the last yeah, the boots. So they were £110 on the price tag and £99 on the bill, and there was no discount. So I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. They need to get that stuff sorted out. So I've got a big box next to me. Rob will be so thrilled because the bins have just been collected today, and now I'm about to fill it up again. But um, let's see what we've got. Oh, I've got loads more coasters, I think. Look at that, how ridiculous. Each one is wrapped individually. Um, but I suppose it's better than getting broken. Now look, that's interesting. They've uh, scrubbed the price out on that one. That's a G. That's for Grace. Hopefully the kids won't watch this and know what I'm going to do. There's an N. That's for Nisa or Nick my daughter-in-law or son-in-law. Anyway, I won't bore you with all of that. But that's that's interesting, isn't it? What's going on with that price? Yeah, this one's got the num the price scrubbed out too. Naughty Matalan. That really annoys me. I mean, if they were priced up at £3, how come they're now £3.50? Like I've got the discount or I'd be really annoyed. Right, so... I won't bore you with all of that. There's 12, um, 11 or 12 of those. Then I got this. I do do a little display for um, uh, Halloween, which I did mention in my last video. And I thought this was rather nice. Now, again, what's going on? The price is scrubbed out. So how much was this? That really kind of gets you, doesn't it? You think... You know, what are they hiding? This, <laughs> this is a soup bowl. So this is nine pounds on there. Um, and I did get 20% off. But imagine some poor devil has, has had to go through all of these, just crossing out the price. But I'm just, going, I'm just going to put that with my collection of um, pumpkins that I do on the hall table and on the mantelpiece in the living room. And they've had to scrub the price out on here as well. How much did that cost? Somebody to do that. So this is nice cream kind of oatmeal coloured china with a gold um, stalk. And that's just an empty bowl. It says a soup bowl. I mean, that'd be an expensive dinner party, wouldn't it? If everyone had one of those for their soup. They'd have to have gruel. Be the only thing you could afford after that. Um, what else have we got? More coasters. I'll have to open all those and check. More coasters. Check that they're all not damaged. Um, so what's this one? Oh, yeah. So, you know, we all have the old um, um, black pepper grinder. But I got these little um, salt and pepper shakers. I know they've kind of got out of style, haven't they? Having actual salt and pepper shakers rather than um, the grinders on the table. But uh, I, j I just thought they're quite nice. And to be honest, I'm not enough of a gourmet or a 
connoisseur to uh, worry. I'll probably just put these on the table, you know, when it's like just us, normal. Normal food. I eat too much salt. I know that. Don't have a go at me. Um, and these were, well, these price hasn't been scrubbed out, so let's hope that's still the case. What did I pay for these? Five pounds with um twenty percent off, so they would have been four pounds. I just thought these were really smart looking. Actually, no, I I love blue. You know, everything's shades of blue. They're quite a decent size. Oh, and that's like a stand, and then it's got the stopper in the bottom, so they're about three inches, I suppose. And when they're in the stand. I'd say they're about four and a half inches. So there's the salt and the pepper. Really big holes, actually, be aware. It was funny, when we were in Rhodes, the salt was in the multi-hold um, shaker and the pepper was in the other one. Who knew? I'll try to smother my dinner in pepper when I'm in it to be salt. Anyway, then I got these as well. And again... Something's going on. They've crossed the price out. These are placemats. So I just thought they were rather smart. They're cork-backed placemats, and I just thought they would look rather nice on my table because I get fed up using um, cloths, just giving myself more washing. So they were, how, old, how much were these? Um, they were £7. For four, and I bought three because I needed. Well, I usually need ten, so obviously I had. To, but I can put the others down the middle. Um, so they were twenty-one pounds minus twenty percent. So what would that be? Two pound ten for pound twenty. So sixteen pounds eighty, I think. So yeah, I thought that was rather smart that design. I don't want to open them just yet because it's kind of a sealed packet. It might be a bit difficult to take back. So three of those. And I thought with the salt and pepper, quite nice. I, I mean, I think these, you know, what do I know? I'm just Joe Blogs, but uh, I thought they were very smart. And then just a little bit of fun over the... Um, Halloween period, I got this, and this was five pounds for a little Halloween hand towel. Kind of subtle Halloween, you know, it's not it's not in your face. And I'll just put that in the in the downstairs bathroom just over the uh, Halloween period. Just for the children, really. I just, you know, like to Celebrate everything we can while we can, really, is my motto. Um, and then I've got a really tall box here full of paper. Like I say, Rob's going to be delighted. And I got... Oh, that's, that's, that's rubbish. Look at that. It's completely squashed. Now, that's, I'll take that back for sure. That was £11. That's the cheapest kind of basket work. You know that real cheap stuff that you get? Nah, don't like that at all. £11. i got to be joking. Won't keep that. What else have I got in here? Um, what's this? More paper. I'll definitely take these back to the store. I won't try and send these back there. Yeah massively um, difficult to rewrap this isn't this isn't breakable this is um this is a fruit bowl i think oh, it's wood and this was 17 pounds i thought this was really smart this one they haven't doctored the price you see it's got all different kind of ferns imprinted into it and a great big piece missing. Oh dear, that must have got broken in transit. 
Where is it? Oh, that's going to have to go back, isn't it? What a shame. You wouldn't have thought, would you, with all that paper around it? Anyway, it's a really lovely bowl. I think that looks really high end, personally. Kind of goes with all the neutrals we're seeing now. I got this blue blue tray. Oh my god. The handle's broken. How oh, annoying. Eight pound fifty with twenty percent off. So, see, this box didn't have fragile written on it. The other one had fragile written on it, and obviously they've taken care, but this one's probably been thrown around, and that's broken, but it should have a wooden handle on it like that. What a shame. What a shame. Might have saved me from myself, though. Oh, good Lord. This is a disaster. got a leg missing off it this is a stool uh, not a stool a footed tray what's this in here look at that another coaster they decided that's rob's they decided not to um wrap that in bubble wrap but thankfully it's still in one piece i don't even know where the leg to that that tray is there's the there's the handle for the tray Oh, God, what a nuisance. Where's the leg? I don't even know. I'm going to have to go through all this to try and find the leg. And then this, which is just a plastic tray. And thankfully, it's all in one piece. And that was £4.50. Although that's got all black on it there. I don't know if I can get that off. That's all a bit of a shame, isn't it? But this, you see, let me see if I can reach it. Hang on. Let's move this stuff around. I thought that this, I thought that this would look rather nice on this as a kind of display piece, like on the footed tray. With the black and the black and i thought that could sit on my black well it's not really it's kind of black mottled black but i thought that would look smart but it doesn't look much good with one leg missing does it anyway there's one more thing that i'm gonna i'm just gonna quickly stop the video the camera and grab this other item because um i've got to get it off the wall so bear with final item was this mirror and um, you can see all the mess of all the wrapping and everything. But um, it's leather look. We needed a mirror, a new mirror for the downstairs bathroom, uh, bedroom. And I thought this was rather nice. I think this was £28 with 20% off. So that's the final item. And that's already on the wall. So I've, I've had to pop in there and take that off. So that's um, the Matalan Hall and the... Um, Rose Forever Hall. Bit of a disaster, darling, with the um, oh, with the damaged goods. I'm going to have to. Oh, sorry, if you're seasick. I don't know what they like with returns in Matalan, but I mean they can't really argue, can they? They were delivered and they're broken, so I'm going to have to have that conversation. Anyway, it's just a just a quick one. I am also going to today um do a little bra try on and um, that should be interesting and then i was going to show you um well i haven't tried it on together so again i i you know living life on the edge aren't i trying this stuff on with you guys to to show you i think it'll look nice i've got another funeral to go to next week i've never had so many funerals in one in one year that's three this year and one at the end of last year it's a year today till since my sister-in-law died actually very sad but she she'd had a lot of ill health but 
She's still very sad. She's a lovely lady. But the funeral on Monday is for a lady who was 100 and she would have been 101 in December. So it's sad. Of course, it's sad, but it's not tragic. And actually, she had dementia. And so in many ways, it's a relief um, and a release for her to go. But I, it's quite a smart funeral and I want to look smart. So um, I will also show you that in the next video which is going to be bras and just bras and a funeral outfit anyway i'm not kind of stripping off so we should be safe um so yeah thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and um i'll see you real soon thanks for watching bye